What a great morning it is, folks. I'm the Sports Degenerate. You're in the Jersey Brickyard, no longer in the Great White North. This is the Fantasy Sports Morning Report, the All-Star Edition, brought to you by Flame Disc. You know what? I hope you got the shot to use this thing over the weekend, because if you did, you lit it on fire and you were ready to cook in just five minutes. Log on to flamedisc.com. Why don't you let them send you one for free? So, with the All-Star break upon us, let's do a State of the Union for Major League Baseball. Let's talk about all those first place teams. You know, this is the first time since 1994 when they established the six-league format that no team has better than a five-game lead in their respective divisions. And since we're talking about those first-place teams, how about the Chicago White Sox? <laughs> Where did that come from? These guys were nine and a half games out of first just a month and two days ago. No longer. They now have a half-game lead in the American League Central. Unbelievable turnaround in a very short amount of time. Now let's talk about some of those first place teams that limped into the All-Star break. First, the Texas Rangers went out and got themselves a great pitcher in Cliff Lee from the Seattle Mariners, but that didn't help them at all. They got swept by the Baltimore Orioles of all teams in Arlington, Texas. Who saw that coming? Also, another first place team that limped towards the finish, the Cincinnati Reds. They got their butts kicked and got swept in four games by the Philadelphia Phillies. So. Since we're talking about the All-Star break, we're going to talk about some of the players that are scheduled to return after this time off. First off would be Phil's third baseman, Placido Polanco. Really? This guy's coming back already? You know, on July 1st, they said he was done for at least three to four weeks, but the Phillies say he'll be ready to go on Thursday when the games resume. I find that a little hard to believe. He's had no rehab time, but the Phillies have spoken, so what are you going to do? Now, next up, let's talk about Mets center fielder Carlos Beltran. I assume somebody in your league has him stashed away and has been keeping him for a rainy day. If not, I would check right now. Now, Beltran kind of broke fantasy owner and Mets hearts when he did his surprise surgery during the offseason, but if you, start, if you have him, you definitely have to start him. Now, moving on to the bumps and bruises, let's talk about a team who has plenty of those to go around. The Boston Red Sox are an injury-riddled team. Now it looks like Adrian Beltre is a little bit dinged up. He jerked his left hammy in yesterday's game in Toronto. He was limping. You can count him out for the All-Star break, but who knows when he'll be back. He could even be back for Thursday's start, but definitely worth keeping an eye on. Thanks for joining us here in the Jersey Brickyard. Come back and see us again on Wednesday because you never know if I'll be replaced by a young lady who is bursting with talent.